premium content. Okay, it cut my recording short. I think I ran out of space to save video. It's a real problem here. I have to go delete a bunch of stuff. Anyways, for me and my red nose. I really need to start changing. Oh my god! I really need to start changing my glamours. What? They found a... What? They found a, an ancient uh, convocation crystal? I don't know if I'm ready for this, if this is what it's going to be. I'm already sad. I'm already having a rough emotional day. <laughs> We go back to El Peace. Every incredible exploit is fact. Was it the Rudolph nose? Is that what really sold you on it? Okay, I'm gonna change my glamour before we go do this. I can't be Rudolph. All right, we're gonna change my glam. <gasps> Cubby! Is this a theme? Are you gonna keep knocking my waters over in every video that I make? Don't knock my coffee over, please. Dude! Alright, let's go to Charlie to change our glamour. But I need something a little bit more serious while I'm going through this cut these cutscenes. So, let's go with this one. I already know we're gonna run into Elidibus because he said he remembered us in Elpis when we ran into his shade last time during the story. Come, pandemonium, quickly. So I know we're gonna run into him. Also, he was in the cutscene. That was him, not La Habrea at the end. Um, of the Endwalker cutscenes. Whoa! Erg. Oh, did I run <laughs> into somebody? <gasps> prettiest boy. She told me a falling star would appear before me, and I suppose you must be it. Truth be told, I did not expect the expression to be so literal. Oh my goodness. You certainly do know how to make an entrance. I must wonder what brought you here, for it is plain that you do not belong here, or any place I know for that matter. I do know how to make an entrance. Fall right on top of you. Uh, I'm Azim's familiar. So everybody's gonna be like coming back to Azim and be like, yo, I just met your familiar. And she's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what familiar? Although, they won't actually because they don't remember me. Is he gonna get his memories wiped too? Because he was like, he couldn't really remember us very well. It like hurt him to remember us. Are we just gonna like meet all of them and then they're just gonna forget <laughs> that we existed? I like his like swooshy braid bangs. I want swooshy bangs. Why do all of the ancients get cute hairstyles? Can I have them? I do hope you agree. I would be loath to part ways from the falling star I had been waiting so long for. Aw, Themis. I decided to go alone, but she left me with these words. Fear not, for in my absence, a star shall fall before you. What? Well, I could not comprehend her meaning at the time. I believe now I understand. She does have a way of being right about these things. I'm so curious. Even so, her hints of what to come are generally more cryptic. I suppose I should have kept my gaze to the heavens. I am very curious about... Asm. I'm assuming that's us. It, it's Asm. Yeah, because it's a, her, we're her familiar. I really hope they dive into that. He is not known to easily afford others his time, so he must be extraordinary indeed to be granted even a moment of it. What can I say? Let us delay no further. I know it's like, I'm running into a tree. I know it's like, um... <laughs> stereotypical fantasy zone, but I don't know. I just love this. <clears throat> Pre-Searing Ascalon was, like, my favorite part of Guild Wars. Like, I just love the, like, 
green golden trees and like yeah, I'm running into more tree. Oh, that's a blue tree. Okay, I just love it. It's this is my fantasy aesthetic. Still, I shall refrain from asking too many questions. Secrets will make our journey all the more intriguing. All right. Here's to a new adventure, eh? This is going to make Shadowbringers even harder to play through than it already is. Because are we about to become, like, best friends with Elidibus? Spooky. Oh, that's cute hand on hip. I was expecting this thing, but instead she's like, I can do this. Asphodelos, the first circle now accessible. I'm like really nervous. All right, let's queue for the, I hate going into things. I know a lot of people like going into things blind, but I just hate it. I have too much anxiety about it. I just want to know so that I don't fuck anybody over. <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me? He's in no state to answer questions. Perhaps you can bring him to his senses. I'm gonna beat, beat him up. I'm just gonna go for it. I wanna be on blue. Oh, heck. I'm gonna let them keep it. The thing with a lot of these mechs is like, you don't get a second chance with a lot of them. They will one-shot you right now. With the other tank also, you get reprisal at the same time. This is why it's kind of nice to have a tank friend, because then you can organize these things. Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected. Poor dude. Honestly, so many of them are like cat girls with my hair that it does look like he copied me. Alright, so that one was easier than I expected. I'm actually interested to see Savage with that one because the, I can see how the mechanics would get more complicated. But that one, I mean, I died the one time and I think I will never die in that one again unless I'm like super spacing out. I am Eric. Thondios, a warder of Asphodelos, Pandemonium's highest lair, and the place we're in now. I'm just gonna call him Eric. He's just Eric. Cubby's just letting me hold his head. My character always looks so crazy. Is that just a Makote thing? Does everybody else's faces look crazy like that? The warders owe you a great debt already. Yes, they do. Maybe I should have put on my, like, robes. Changing my glamour again. Okay, I'm back with a new outfit. I, I fit in now. A little bit better. <laughs> the second circle. All right. I'm not a big fan of this thing. The tank took their tank stance off. Uh, why do the other tanks not want to tank? I'm not even a tank. I mean, I am a tank main, but I'm, I'm a new tank main. <gasps> oh, gosh. It grew another head. <coughs> I think it's going like... Oh, my God. I'm so confused by that. I don't understand. Dissociation, so the head's gonna pop off. Yeah, Cubby, the head's popping off. It's over there. Hi. Cubby, are you trying to get me to move forward? Is that what you want? You want me to like sit up a little bit better so you can lay back there? Okay. Yeah, I hope that's not the savage mount. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, hello. Looking like some bad is here. You can do it. Ooh, what an interesting looking fellow. By the phoenix? 
Phoenix. It's spelled P H O I, so I'm like, Phoenix? Let's go get this Phoenix. I hope they get voice actors at some point. Uh, Gaia's in mean scenes where voice acted sometimes. Scene. Oh! 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 I knew he was too interesting looking of a fellow. <laughs> Seems whoever is behind this can alter the space around us at will. We face an uphill battle. Hmm, who did we just talk about that can alter the space at will? Asphodelos, the third circle. <clears throat> Please let the other tank just immediately want a main tank. It would be a weight off my shoulders. The other tank has their tank stance on and did a countdown. Yo, it hurts that guy a lot. I'm sorry to the melees. Wait, why is he not tanking it? <laughs> Yay! That's cool. It'd be cool if that was the mount for Savage. We already have a Phoenix mount, but... Dude looks like a software dev who decided to dress like a vampire today. That's what I'm seeing there, and... I, it just looks silly to me. It just looks silly. Like, I feel like if I called an IT desk, that's who would answer. I don't know. My master La Habrea suffers your mediocrity, I shall never understand. Wow, rude. Such wasted potential. To be son to Master La Habrea, yet no more skilled with magic than a newborn babe. Oh, it's La Habrea's son! What? And he shall require no other. Dude loves La Habrea. Like, a lot. His coat is like... Vampire Pirate. Yeah, I don't find that vampire guy very intimidating. <laughs> he just looks kind of goofy to me. But I look forward to seeing his second phase form. I feel like this is the first time we deal with parentage regarding the ancients. I don't think we've ever even talked about... I mean, they thought we were kids in Amarat. But we've never, like, directly dealt with them talking about parents or, like, having children, I don't think. So it's just, I, part of me just thought they just, they just appeared. Like, there was, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't think they, like, had kids. I thought they would just, like, appear. That's mostly a joke. It just, just it didn't, we've never really talked, it's something that we never discussed with the ancients, I don't think. Unless I missed it somewhere. I am La Habrea's son, bereft of his talent for magics or his brilliant mind, but his son nonetheless. Don't sell yourself so short, dude. This is a new thing, I feel. They're all doing it. A beach, a beach, a beast which, I can't speak anymore. A beast which feeds off the aether of its prey. All right, into the final one we go. I'm scared. I haven't noticed the music for the other fights. I think I was too caught up in the mechanics to hear what was the music. Hopefully, this, is so this one has as much of a bop as Ramu had. I don't know, I'm just, he looks very regular. I think it's the glasses. Yeah, take those off. A uh, little bit better. So is there going to be something? Okay, this song does sound pretty good so far. What is happening here? Okay. Can I, like, run into the edges? And we don't even really know what it does. This is like water. Is it gonna push us? Yes, it is gonna push us.
I was I was right and I was prepared. This thing is doing oh a knockback. <gasps> we all got knocked into that. Alright, so here we go again. It's going west. Honestly, I don't know what west is. <gasps> I got death. I did so good. Did I take too many? Could be worse. We did it! That was a lot. Of, that was a fun fight. That was fun. What? Well, it was fun, Cubby. I like that. Now, Themis, we end this here. We can't end it here. Fools, I will not be put in chains. <gasps> he broke it. To think that I would fall before one such as you, perhaps I should have treated you as more than a mere nuisance. Despite your victory, you shall never have the knowledge that you seek. The secrets of my transformation, the secrets of my deception, they shall return to the star with me. You're wasting your breath, Asparos. We have the upper hand now. Surely you can see that. Yes, yes, my repertoire is not exhausted yet, however. Although I have failed, my end shall be on my terms. Oh my goodness. It's the second time in this expansion they've had somebody take themselves out, and um, I don't know if I like that they keep doing that. <laughs> Obviously that wasn't it, we still have eight more raids to go. It is not as uncommon as you might think. They were like, how does infatuation turn into something like that? Are we thinking about Xenos here? Is La Habrea just a title? I'm just wondering, because if it's a title, part of me wonders if, like, he becomes La Habrea? I don't know. If it's just a title, I wonder if this is about how he comes to be La Habrea. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong, but I'm just speculating here. I dare say it's really much more than they ever imagined. Yes. Yes, it will. I forgot I have to go report back to them about it now. Buddies! Me and my boys! So my theory... Is that throughout this process... Something happens where the other La Habrea loses his seat, because La Habrea is a title, and maybe it comes out that Eric Thonios is actually powerful or whatever, and he takes that seat. Probably not right, but I kind of hope for that. And I wonder if part of the reason why we don't have any voice acting so far which I'm trying to remember if we had voice acting the first bunch of the raid in Eden. I'd have to like go back and check. I wonder if part of it is they don't want to give away who Themis is. Because in the cutscene that we see of him at the end of the story... Wait, what is this? He has Elodibus's voice. So... He has... That's a little bit. That's the future Elidibus, but he's obviously not Elidibus yet. He's still just Themis doing his side job with who will eventually become Asm as well. So they're still like young. They're not, they haven't taken their seats yet for the end of days convocation. So my theory is that we're running around with future Elidibus and future La Habrea. I think the La Habrea one is a bit of a shot in the dark, but 
I'm taking it. I'm taking it. All right, that's my theory. <laughs> Not betting anything on it. Ah, oh, that's just my my theory. I totally forgot about this portion of it that they found this in the current day. And now we have to figure out what is happening with all this wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. I think this is the first raid story that I've just been like I want the next part. <laughs> like I really want it right now. I've never really felt that way about any of the other raids. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, I feel like I just gave my final thoughts. I like this story. I think it's really interesting and has a lot of emotional potential because we're dealing with characters that we already have emotional ties to just before. Um, I'm just really looking forward to where it's gonna go. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next bunch of it. Also, the fights were all pretty fun. I didn't really like the sec- the second one was probably my least favorite. But, um, the first and the third one, once you kind of- I mean, the first one is easy. The third one, I think once you figure out what's going on, it's not too difficult. The hard part is both tanks are taking damage, because they have multiple heads, <laughs> this phoenix does. Um, and the fourth one is probably one of the most fun raids that I've done. Like, I thought that was fun. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, and I will not, I'm like looking forward to going back and do it. The one hit mechanics are a bit tough to me. Like, it's hard to prog with randos. You get one person in a bad mood and it's not fun, but hopefully everybody's having a good time but yeah i'm calling eric is la habrea pretty sure we all know temis is elidibus um if you were listening to the cutscenes and stuff like that it's interesting i'm looking forward to seeing where it goes oh my gosh i can't wait oh how long do i have to wait months right months oh heck man Dang.